Reasons for choosing an MSc or PhD will probably vary from person to person. Um, some people might be working in another field and find that um, they're doing a lot of statistics and want to sort of bump up the knowledge. Um, me, I did it because I just really enjoyed statistics and what I was doing. Um, some jobs, um, it might be essential to have an MSc, for example, if you want to work in the pharmaceutical industry or something like that. Um, I think if you wanted a career in academia, uh, you'd certainly want to be looking at the um, MSc or PhD route. But uh, yeah, I mean, I did it just because I really enjoyed statistics and wanted to carry on. It prepares you well for a career in research. Um, I wouldn't have wanted to go straight into full-time employment without doing the uh, Masters in between. Depending on the setup as well of the Masters, it can almost feel like a full-time job, which does help prepare you for the next step. So one thing to bear in mind is that there's actually a lot of opportunities to uh, do an MSc or a PhD and get lots of funding um, for doing that as well. So um, research councils in the UK commonly offer um, studentships which pay for all your fees and give you about £13,000. So that's um, because that's, you get all that tax free, that's equivalent to a lot of the, uh, the graduate jobs that you might do instead.